knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. Let's play Save the Dinosaurs. Great! You made it! But there's not much time! A comet is about to hit the Earth and make it impossible for dinosaurs to stay alive! Your mission is to travel back in time and save 15 dinosaurs from three different time periods before the comet hits! Remember, don't go the wrong way and beware of the giant bugs! If you need any clues, click on the help consoles at each intersection. You'll get extra time for each dino saved. Okay! Are you ready? It's time for the first mission. The first mission is find Coelophysis. Coelophysis was a late Triassic dinosaur that was 10 feet tall and 601 pounds. Remember, after Coelophysis, there are 14 more dinosaurs to save. Hurry, save Coelophysis! As you may have found out by now, a time tunnel has been discovered that leads back to the three time periods of the dinosaurs, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. We've got an unbelievable chance to go back in time and save the dinosaurs before a giant comet hits the Earth. Unfortunately, the comet is approaching at this very moment, so you've got to act fast. It's not going to be easy getting through the time tunnels. They're built like mazes. Watch out for wrong turns. You may run into a nest of deadly dromaeosauruses. Those are vicious cousins of the velociraptor. If they bite you, you may lose precious time. Now for the worst part. The time tunnel is infested with gigantic prehistoric insects. We don't know how they got here or how they got this big. But they're mad and they want to go home. If you bump into one of these bugs, you'll definitely lose time. I saw Coelophysis once. Unfortunately, I was only able to get a quick glance before I was knocked down by a three-fingered hand the size of my foot. I've been stalking dinos for years, and I was amazed to discover that Coelophysis was a two-legged meat eater. Great! Coelophysis has been saved! Mission 2. Save Tyrannosaurus Rex! Tyrannosaurus Rex lived in the late Cretaceous period. He was one of the last dinosaurs to live! Tyrannosaurus Rex was a terrible seven-ton meat-eater.
Tyrannosaurus Rex is scary. Many times I myself have barely escaped. It can run so fast on its hind feet, so be careful. Mission completed! Now, mission three, go save Triceratops! Triceratops was 30 feet long and weighed 11 tons. It was the rhinoceros of the dinosaurs and lived around 70 million BC. Its three-horned head must have been a fearsome sight to any hungry Tyrannosaurus. Tri Triceratops was among the best known of the horn-faced dinosaurs called Ceratopids. It was also one of the last dinosaurs to live on the planet. Normally a peaceful plant eater, Triceratops offered the perfect defense against marauding predators. Its skull was built like an enormous shield with a thick neck frill and three sharp horns. Great! Another mission completed! Now, mission four. Go save Segesaurus! Unfortunately, we do not have much information on Segesaurus, but we do know it was small and ran on two legs. Segesaurus lived around 190 million BC! Segesaurus was a small and agile two-legged runner. Segasaurus probably fed on small lizards and amphibians. Congratulations! Another mission completed! Now, mission five! Go save Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus was a herbivore that lived 152 million BC, was 21 feet long, and weighed two tons! Hurry! Save Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus had a small mouth with small teeth. Stegosaurus had two rows of triangular-shaped plates on its back. Another mission completed! So far, you've saved five dinosaurs! There are only ten more dinos to go! Hurry! Time is running out! Mission six! Save Saltosaurus! Saltosaurus was an herbivore with bony armor. It lived around 64 million BC. Hurry! Search it out! Find it! Save it! Things are definitely starting to feel warmer. It's getting awfully humid around here. Just the perfect environment for plants and ferns to grow. The Cretaceous period was from 135 million BC to 64 million BC. Another mission completed! Okay, mission seven! Find Plateosaurus! It was an ancestor of long-necked plant eaters like Brachiosaurus! The hands of Plateosaurus had four fingers and a thumb with a sharp curved claw. With its long neck and tail, Plateosaurus could seek food in high and low places. <coughs> Great! 
You saved Platyosaurus! Now, mission eight, go save Parasaurolophus, the trumpeter! Parasaurolophus was 33 feet long, weighed four tons, and lived around 80 million BC! Hurry, find Parasaurolophus! <laughs> You know, Parasaurolophus had a very distinctive looking head. Parasaurolophus was a duck billed dinosaur that stood on its hind legs. Another mission completed! Okay, mission nine, go save Iguanodon! Iguanodon was 30 feet tall and weighed five tons. It was an herbivore and lived around 125 million BC. Hurry, save Iguanodon! Things are definitely starting to feel warmer. It's getting awfully humid around here. Just the perfect environment for plants and ferns to grow. Iguanodons had to stay clear of giant carnivores like Tyrannosaurus rex and Albertosaurus. Great! Another mission completed! Mission 10, save Apatosaurus! Apatosaurus was a giant herbivore that lived 145 million years ago! Some people still call it Brontosaurus! You will have to use your keen intelligence to figure out the rest! Hurry, hurry, we're running out of time! <coughs> oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos! Apatosaurus weighed 30 tons and ate lots of low-lying vegetation. <coughs> yeah! Another mission completed! All right, mission 11. Go save Allosaurus. Allosaurus was 39 feet long, weighed two tons, and was very similar to Tyrannosaurus, only smaller. Hurry, find Allosaurus. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos. It is thought that Allosaurus may have hunted large plant-eating dinosaurs. Another mission completed! Okay, mission 12, go save Hypsilophodon! Hypsilophodon lived around 160 million BC. It was 8 feet long and an herbivore. This two-legged dinosaur was very speedy, so you'll have to be very fast to catch it! Hypsilophodontids were members of a very successful dinosaur family. They had large eyes, cheeks to hold food as they chewed, and teeth that sharpened themselves and replaced themselves as they wore out. <laughs> wow, don't you wish you had teeth like that? I know I do. Judging from their long, strong back legs, these two-legged dinosaurs were very speedy. Oh yeah! Another mission completed! Okay, mission 13, go save Brachiosaurus! It is possible that no land animal, living or dead, was as massive as the giant plant-eating Brachiosaurus! It measured 75 feet long and weighed close to 89 tons! Now, find Brachiosaurus! <coughs> Oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos.
The giant Brachiosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period. Mission completed! Okay, now mission 14, save Velociraptor. Velociraptor was a small, vicious dinosaur that lived around 144 million BC and was a meat eater. Find Velociraptor. Velociraptor was lightweight, with long back legs for running, a stiff tail for balance, and needle-sharp teeth, and a fairly large brain. The middle toe of each hind foot on Velociraptor had a large, vicious, curved claw that could be used for slashing at its prey. Wow! Another mission completed! One more mission to go! We're almost there! Mission 15, go save Ankasaurus! Ankasaurus was a small dinosaur that lived around 200 million BC. It walked on all fours and was probably an herbivore. Hurry, find Ankasaurus! Pee! I think I smell an Ankasaurus nearby. Ankasaurus was probably very good at escaping from Triassic predators. Look, you've saved 15! Yes, 15 dinosaurs! You've saved them all! You are really, really, really good! Many, many congratulations! Mankind and dino-kind will be forever grateful! Now, if you think you're really good, see if you can save all the dinosaurs in even less time! Great! You made it! But there's not much time! A comet is about to hit the Earth and make it impossible for dinosaurs to stay alive! Your mission is to travel back in time and save 15 dinosaurs from three different time periods before the comet hits! Remember, don't go the wrong way and beware of the giant bugs! If you need any clues, click on the help consoles at each intersection. You'll get extra time for each dino saved. Okay! Are you ready? It's time for the first mission. The first mission is f Absolutely positively the wrong dinosaur. I'm a Parasaurolophus, a member of the duck-billed family of dinosaurs. My head crest may have produced a trumpet-like sound to warn others of danger. woo It was also a lot of fun at parties. Don't make this mistake again. I'm Tyrannosaurus, the biggest, most fearsome meat-eating dinosaur ever to walk the Earth, and you better not forget it. Oh, how could you confuse me with another dinosaur? I'm Triceratops, a 33-ton reptile that used its horns to scare away vicious carnivores. Oh, like that guy over there. <laughs> Can't you see I'm the wrong dinosaur? I'm Velociraptor, a high-speed killing machine who used a giant claw on my hind leg to slash other dinosaurs. Shucks! 
I'm sorry to say I'm not the dinosaur you're looking for. I'm an iguanodon. I ate plants and had hundreds of teeth in my mouth. And you know, I never once got a cavity. Probably because I didn't eat sugar. <laughs> mm -mm, wrong dinosaur. I'm a saltosaurus, just your average 40-foot herbivore who had plates on her back. Sorry, you've got the wrong prehistoric reptile. I'm Hypsilophodon, an average-sized dinosaur who loved plants and had a mouth shaped like a bird's beak. <laughs> ah, I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. Ah! I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. Well, excuse me. I'm a Platyosaurus. I happen to be one of the first true dinosaurs to come into existence. But I am not the dinosaur you're looking for. Ooh. I'm definitely not the one you're looking for. I'm Ankysaurus. I was among the first dinosaurs to roam the arid plains of the Triassic period. I was 20 feet long, and many people think I was a vegetarian. They may be right. You did great! Coelophysis has been saved! Mission 2. Save Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex lived in the late Cretaceous... There were a lot of that. I think you have confused me with someone else. I'm Allosaurus, a terrifying meat-eater who loves to hunt and kill other dinosaurs. Nope, I'm not the dinosaur you want. I'm a Brachiosaurus, and I'm an enormous plant-eater looking for a meal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I weigh 80 tons, I stand 40 feet tall, and I measure 75 feet long. Now, don't get me mad. Uh-uh, negative. Wrong dinosaur. I'm an Apatosaurus. I weighed 33 tons and was two stories tall. Ooh, I had to eat a lot of plants to keep my figure. <laughs> Ample, isn't it? Sorry, wrong dinosaur. I'm a Stegosaurus. The plates on my back may have helped me collect heat from the sun. I need it, you know, because my bones get cold. Did you know that my brain was the size of a walnut? Ooh, that's small, isn't it? You're way off base. I'm Segasaurus, a terribly fast little dinosaur that wasn't much larger than your average dog. Whoa, wow, I'm in a hurry. Ah! I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. Ah! 
I'm Dromiosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. I'm Dromiosaurus. I'm Dromiosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. I'm Dromiosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. I'm Dromiosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next. <laughs> Dromiosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat. Luckily, you were able to save at least one dinosaur.